oh, she has on the black crown. Yes, there will be a little bit of shade thrown today. I can swear, I can joke. I see what's on my mind. If I drink, if I smoke, I keep up with the guys. And you'll see me holding up my middle finger to the world. Like your ribbons and your pearls. Cause I'm not just a pretty girl. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to court. I am the Sovereign. Please go and grab your snacks, grab your drinks, your water, your juice, your wine, whatever, as long as it's healthy. Trust me, for this video, you're gonna wanna do that. This is another edition of the Court Council where we discuss world events and YouTube events outside of the other topics that occur here on my channel. I watch YouTube every day, pretty much all day because I'm always on the road driving, so I put my earphones in and I just listen to people's YouTube videos. I swear, a lot of you YouTubers are getting paid off of my watch time. But I do peruse the sections and suggested and browse and all that and I discover new YouTubers. And I came across Charlie Gold. Charlie Gold is obviously a YouTuber. She does videos that primarily revolve around the topics of weight, food, nutrition, but like weight loss and I'm trying to be nice about it. But okay, let me just redo this. Charlie Gold is a YouTuber that primarily does videos on Amberlynn Reed. Amberlynn Reed is also a YouTuber. Her channel was started to be a documentary or her documenting her weight loss journey, which was, you know, obviously very important to a lot of other people who struggle with things like that. Trust me, I've been there. So that's how she started her channel. And then her notoriety, her infamy has grown as she has no shade. Um, <laughs> we're not, I'm not being shady, not yet. Um, her infamy has grown through the years. Um, there's been scandals, people say that she's manipulating, lying, blah, 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 all of this bad stuff, which I totally get. I know the story of Amberlynn Reed. I don't personally watch her videos. The, we'll, we'll get to that. Because this video is not about Amberlynn Reed, honestly. This video is about Charlie Gold. Hey, Charlie. Like I said, Charlie Gold's videos are supposed to be about her journey, her thoughts on weight loss, okay, whatever. Charlie Gold's main thing is nitpicking Amberlynn Reed. Charlie says that the purpose of her criticizing Amberlynn Reed, her constantly making videos on Amberlynn Reed, is this. Amberlynn is who I used to be. Amberlynn is who I don't want anyone else to be. Where I am sitting now, in my position, still being morbidly obese, I don't want for anyone as well. I'm not oblivious to the fact that her name has brought so many people over. I have doubled down on reacting to her because in a way I realize this is also a tool to keep me accountable. Amberlynn is the name that is helping me spread the message. That is her purpose on my channel. She says it's to hold herself accountable, to hold Amberlynn Reed accountable, to, you know, I guess further other people's journeys. So she says, but Charlie Gold critiques Amberlynn Reed on literally everything, like everything. I couldn't believe it. I'm watching these videos and Charlie Gold is critiquing Amberlynn Reed on her nails, her hair, her camera angles, like just nitpicking. <laughs> That bra originally was a white bra. There's no reason that, well, it actually had color in it too, but it was mostly white. There's no reason that bra that was originally mostly white can be used as a nude for me. Like she has to get a new bra. That is the strong, her bra is probably one of the strongest things to ever grace this earth. You can't stand the earrings, the cardigan, we could have chose a different option, the color works. I actually believe part of the reason Amberlynn comes off dumber and dumber every video with some of the things she's saying, I actually think it has to do with the fact she's not having human interaction as much. Maybe it's terrifying because it's water and it reminds her of a shower. Oh, she needs to repolish her nails. She's such an idiot. Such an idiot. And I'm like, I get it. I understand that. A lot of people do not like Amberlynn Reed, and there are valid points for that, obviously, obviously. But for what Charlie Gold says the purpose of her channel and her videos are, nitpicking the hell out of Amberlynn Reed on things that don't involve her eating habits or her, her weight or her life, like, what is the point of that? What, what, I, I get that people don't like Amberlynn Reed, but 
what is happening in these videos is tantamount to bullying. And I know people are gonna be like, you're standing up for Amberlynn Reed of all people? For one, I'm pointing out that Charlie Gold's videos are just an excuse for bad YouTubing. Just bad, just, just not even, not bad, but lazy YouTubing. It's just lazy because the reaction videos are barely reaction, barely reaction. Where? At least she's having fun. Judge me, please. I have been experimenting, experimenting. I have been experimenting more with makeup. It's like there is no life. In this video i have never seen it this is not even not only is it not a reaction video it's not even a commentary video you sit there with the face of a disapproving stepmother and critique um amberlyn reed's bra her showering habits Charlie Gold is borderline like, this is obsessive. I don't care what Charlie Gold has to say about Amberlynn Reed. If you are consistently watching Amberlynn Reed's videos, no matter what she uploads, like literally, Amberlynn Reed could upload a video reviewing a white t-shirt and Charlie Gold would make a reaction video about Amberlynn Reed reviewing a white t-shirt. Like she, you, Charlie Gold is the literal personification of the cereal challenge. Like, girl, you getting your meals directly out of Amber Lynn Reed's mouth. And I just don't understand how you can badmouth her to the point that you do, to in, in the detail that you do and claim to not be a fan. I'm sorry, but if you're watching all of Amber Lynn Reed's videos, if you're watching her Instagram, her Snapchat, like everything about her, Charlie, I have watched videos of Charlie Gold and Charlie Gold knows the brand name of scale that Amberlynn Reed uses. She knows the type of bra that Amberlynn Reed uses. She can recall the month, the date, the year of when Amberlynn Reed had her nails painted polka dot blue and gold. Like she just, she just, <laughs> use a fan. I don't care what you say. If you're that in depth in somebody's life, you is a fan. But the reason I took the leap to actually make a video is the hypocrisy. Oh, the hypocrisy. You guys, there are few pet peeves that I have on this planet, okay? A few. People chewing with their mouth open, white pageant dresses, hypocrisy. I can't stand a hypocrite. And I'm over here watching Charlie Gold's videos, her nitpicking Amber Lynn Reed. I could understand if you were getting on her things about like her health and her weight, but you over here talking about her nails and her shower. I know for a fact she struggles with showering. But the hypocrisy. Admittedly, they both have admitted this. This is not me throwing shade, but Charlie Gold is obese and Amber Lynn is obese. Charlie, for some whatever reason, thinks she's on a higher pedestal than Amber Lynn Reed, which I'm just like, first. Y'all are in the same category. Like, y'all in the same bracket. Like, I can't clown on a girl that's five foot three when I'm five foot, five foot four. Like girl, we both fun sized, okay? We are both vertically challenged, that's fine. But it, it doesn't make sense for me clowning on someone who's just a little bit shorter than me. Like, 
Charlie Gold and Amberlynn Reed, y'all in the same category. There's, there, like, just because Amberlynn Reed may be one or 200 pounds heavier than Charlie does not give Charlie the nonsense pedestal to sit there and critique Amberlynn Reed when I'm watching Charlie, because I went through Charlie Gold's thing and I'm like, does she do anything other than criticize other big people? And I'm going through her thing and I, to my understanding, you know, the pictures that I have seen, Charlie Gold actually has lost a significant amount of weight, though she is still obese. So I'm going through her channel and I'm, the, the videos, the videos of her like nitpicking Amberlynn Reed, oh, I just, I had to stop. Like I unsubscribed and I'm like, I can't watch this because it really bothered me as a, even as just a female, like why are you, but why are you up in her shower like that? Like why? But Charlie Gold is sitting there criticizing Amberlynn Reed cheating on her diet or eating something unhealthy. And then I scroll down and I hit this. Imagine how crazy ridiculous I would look if I sat here day in and day out and made reactions gave commentary gave my opinion on this lady and I turned around and gained back a hundred pounds could you imagine how crazy I would look so you mean to tell me you are sitting there criticizing Amberlynn Reed but then a few weeks later or a month later or whatever later, you have to upload a video talking about you've gained weight because you're sitting there critiquing a woman on her size and gaining weight when you are doing the exact same thing. I was mad for a little bit for Amberlynn Reed because even though I know a lot of people don't like her, I, I, I know, I know how you guys feel about her. But honestly, if I was Amberlynn, I'm like thinking like if I was her, I would have dragged Charlie Gold over a cheese grater, sitting up on her channel, making money off of somebody's struggles, making money off of someone who, like they're talking about things that are even irrelevant to her struggle, dissing her with her disapproving stepmom face. Like your entire channel, your entire being, your entire followship is built off the back of Amber Lynn Reed. Eat that cereal, boo boo. Eat, eat, eat it. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, like, I, I don't even understand how Amber Lynn Reed allows this to persist because me, you gonna sit up on your channel and, and make an entire channel about me? Like, number one, first off, <laughs> let me just talk to my to my hater peasants. And court, I love you, my court, you guys are wonderful. I need you to step aside, look out the rainy window into the mud, and I need to address my peasants, my peasants standing out there in the cold. Yes, I'm talking to you. Um, Y'all are slacking. I do not appreciate your lackluster hatred of me. I don't. L look at Charlie Gold. Look at the length that Charlie Gold goes to to diss Amberlynn Reed. How come I don't get that from my peasants? All you guys do is leave me mean comments, which I love, like I love your tears, I do appreciate that, but I'm just like, as a dedicated hater, as the peasant that you are, I expect better. If you gonna hate on me, I want Charlie Gold level of hate. I want that. Give me that. I need that, okay? I, I feed off the light. I, it's like, I don't, I don't care. Okay, court, step back in. We're gonna leave the haters outside in the mud, lip and starve. Um, that's another thing I just can't fathom. I could never build a channel, make my job giving attention or talking about someone that I don't like. I, I don't know anybody who makes a YouTube channel really to talk about stuff that they don't like or don't have a vested interest in. Like if you go, anywhere on YouTube. Like there are other channels that talk about Amberlynn Reed, obviously, and I watch some of them. Um, God, Everyday Damn Fitness has done a couple of, hey, has done a couple videos on Amberlynn Reed. Um, but when he talks about Amberlynn Reed, he talks about pertinent information having to do with her health. He does not care what she's wearing, what her hairstyle like, what her makeup style like, he doesn't care. He talks about things that matter. Um, I think, what's her name? Michelle McDaniel, I feel like Michelle McDaniel has also done videos on Amberlynn Reed. They talk about pertinent information. When I ran into Charlie Gold's channel, I'm thinking because of her criticism and the amount of emphasis that she puts on Amberlynn Reed, I'm just like, wow, this girl has to have at least half a million followers for her to be garnering this much attention and having people build their channels off of her. So I go to Amberlynn Reed. I didn't watch her videos because I just don't care. I went and I looked and Amberlynn Reed only has what? 
50k followers more than Charlie Gold at the time. So it's not like Amberlynn Reed is even a huge YouTuber. So you're building your channel off of someone who's like not even big. Like she's not even y'all. Hey, I know y'all in here making jokes. Okay, I'm trying. Like don't, don't. Okay, you're building your brand based off of somebody else. And you want to sit there disapproving and nitpicking her, knowing that you get everything you got because of this woman. I would, oh, Amber Lynn, Amber Lynn. Oh, I would strike the hell out of Charlie Gold. No, no, I would strike the hell out of Charlie Gold. Because number one, it's not, it's, her reactions aren't even reactions. She has no reaction. There's, she's, most of Charlie Gold's videos is Amber Lynn Reed talking through. And then it's Charlie Gold just jumping in, adding little snide comments that would in real life get her slapped. Are we, am I the only one that's seeing this? I, I get that you guys don't like her, I get it, but if you're gonna get on her, get on her for valid things. Get on her for, okay, be like, hey Amber, why are you cheating on your diet? Hey Amber, you lied about this. Hey Amber, like why are you making people feel bad about that or manipulating your partner or all that stuff? And furthermore, furthermore, y'all just drive me crazy with this, like, oh my, my head. Furthermore, why y'all even give her attention if you don't like her? What's the point? of dragging Amberlynn Reed. You don't like her. What is the point of giving her the airtime, giving her the space, giving her the clicks, giving her the attention if you guys don't like her? Peep, I have read the comments in Charlie Gold's videos and Amberlynn Reed videos, any video about Amberlynn Reed, I see what people say and I'm trying to figure out if you guys do not support that channel or you feel like she's manipulating people through her channel, why are you giving her the attention and the clicks? The rest of the YouTube community has already learned from the Onision thing. Like we stopped paying attention to him. Nobody watches his videos and now he's just like, he lost his Patreon and everything. We don't give him our air, our breath. So if you know that Amberlynn Reed is making her money off of manipulating you guys, why then do you allow her to do it? Y'all like, Y'all are like masochists. It's like you enjoy the pain and the torture that she causes you. And you n further after this, you guys can no longer call Amberlynn Reed a liar. You can't because it's well known throughout the community that she lies and manipulates her fans. So if you fully believe that and you know that and you still watch her videos, it's your fault. It's on you. Don't blame Amberlynn Reed. You guys give her the time. You guys give her the breath. You guys give her the money and the clicks. The only reason I know about Amberlynn Reed is because of Charlie Gold. Charlie Gold's channel is what was suggested to me, not Amberlynn Reed. And being, you know, the woman that I am, I'm just like, hey, there's a dark sister in my, in my suggested area. Let me click on her and see what she's about. I'm very heavily into supporting YouTubers. Like I was ready to be down with Charlie Gold. Like, yes, Midas Touch, I wanna be there for you. But I'm not gonna sit there and watch you dissect another woman simply because it makes you money. I think that is dirty. I think that is grimy. I think that is gross. And you Charlie Gold fans, like you guys can get in my comments and be like, oh, but you blah, 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 whatever, okay? Whatever. As told by Kenya said, debate your mother. Hi Kenya, debate your mother because you know that I'm right. There is no reason for anybody to be sitting in Amberlynn Reed's comments or making videos about Amberlynn Reed talking about the way she styles her hair or the clothes she chooses to wear. That is bullying, period, the end, donezo, done, okay, done. Done. There is no purpose to judging Amberlynn Reed on that level. If you wanna judge her for what she says, the lies that she puts out, her failure to follow a, properly follow a diet because that Amberlynn Reed has asked people to hold her accountable, okay? So that's on her. But there's no reason for y'all to be talking about her nails or where she likes to shop. Or like, you, it's just, too, it's just, you, it's beyond. And it's just like, ugh, just ugh. How are you making money off of like taking somebody down like that. Oh, I find it so gross, I can't. And like I said before, this is just an excuse for lazy YouTubing. And as a YouTuber, that's something that I don't like either because I have seen other channels, because 
when I decide to make a video, I will go and do my due diligence and check other people's videos. I have seen other channels that make videos on Amberlynn Reed, and they make videos on people like um, Chantal, I think her, her former channel name was Foodie Beauty and whatnot. But number one, they diversify their content. When they do upload content, they actually have something to say, unlike some people. And then they're not sitting there being a hypocrite. That's why, so those of you who are gonna be like, oh, but why, Charlie Gold's not the only one that does it. Charlie Gold's the worst one that does it. And that's, I just, I just don't understand the hypocrisy because if I sat here and talked about the gaps between Charlie Gold's teeth, y'all would be like, oh, that's mean. Meanwhile, here's Charlie Gold. Why, why is her bed never made? What are those? When I see her in something besides those $2 flats, then we can say, what are those? You sound crazy. I've never seen those What before. are those? I wonder oh, if she went blind if she'd lose uh -oh. weight. Sadly, that bug has a chance of living longer than Amberlynn at this point. I feel like I got exercise in here because I go around and I'm Okay, you guys, so I just got out of the pool. She means I'm she just sure finished her bath. Worked. That's how I she bathes. Talking about, like, she's talking about Amberlynn Reed's closet in the background of the video. Like, she's not even, she's dissecting that video down as if it is, like, she is a movie reviewer. Okay, Charlie Gold, you are in the wrong field. You need to go review movies. This, just switch, switch girl, do something. Because if, if anything happens to Amberlynn Reed, you're screwed. You're screwed, because you built your channel off of her instead of yourself, instead of developing a personality yourself. Your followers are not necessarily focused on you. They're focused on, they're focused on Amberlynn Reed. If Amberlynn Reed's channel goes down, Charlie Gold is no more. What I do appreciate Charlie Gold for though, I will say I appreciate her for bringing to the forefront the fact that obesity is dangerous to your health, that obesity is bad, and that that's something that she's trying to tackle. And I wish that she had just kept her focus on that. Because right now, it kind of seems like she has a magnifying glass over Amberlynn Reed, as if Amberlynn Reed is the ant, and she's just sitting there frying Amberlynn Reed for the fun of it, for the sadistic fun of it. It is good to see an obese person talk about obesity and the trials of obesity and you know how she feels about obesity and the health implications and all that. She should have kept her focus there. That is something that people can learn from. That is something people can relate to. That is something worth building a platform off of. Building a platform off of the back of another person is lazy. The content that I have seen is lazy. I know what you guys are gonna say, and before you guys even try the pull the Miss Universe card, let me explain to you non-fans who don't understand. Miss Universe is a contest. Those girls have signed up for a contest, and they are judged on the basis of the contest and what they bring to the stage for their performances. Their performances are meant to be judged. But even when I do judge those girls, I never bully anybody. I never call anybody ugly. I've never called anybody fat. I've never done anything to intentionally shade or hurt any of the girls because I have a massive amount of respect for them. I truly like the Miss Universe competition. It is very clear that the people who criticize Amberlynn Reed, especially Charlie Gold, do not like her. They are not trying to uplift her spirits or tell her anything good or give her positive feedback or criticism that's going to help her in the future. Unless Amber Lynn Reed does something monumental or there's a major event in her life, I don't understand why there has to be a reaction video to every little thing that she does. Amber Lynn Reed breathes, Charlie Gold has a reaction video. Amber Lynn Reed brushing her teeth, Charlie Gold has a reaction video. And then in the reaction video, there is no reaction. That's lazy. Find different content, find more content, build a personality, get some ideas, get some creativity, do something other than picking on this girl. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Amberlynn Reed, though you guys don't like her, Amberlynn Reed can do whatever the hell she wants. If Amberlynn Reed is happy being that big, if she's happy eating what she's eating, I'm not saying it's healthy, it's very detrimental to her health, but it is her choice, like the smokers, the people that continue smoking. Yes, we all know smoking is bad and it causes so many issues and it could, in the future, it will ha most likely have a hand in your death. Smokers know that. But if they choose to keep smoking, I'ma let them. I'm not gonna, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. Up until your issues cause problems to me or the rest of the public, there's no reason for anybody to be getting on Amberlynn Reed. There's no reason for it. Stop watching her, turn it off. Block the channel. 
Why, like, why? Why are you guys doing that? I mean, y'all just trying to make money off of a female's downfall. And once again, that's just nasty. The more attention you guys give to Amberlynn Reed, you are just giving her more views and more clicks and more attention. That's how I got dragged into this. I got dragged into this because of Charlie Gold and I don't appreciate it. So I'm just letting you know, I don't appreciate being forced to watch either one of the two of y'all's nonsense, okay? The Sovereign is leaving the chat. I am happy to have gotten that off my chest, okay? Um, those of you in the comments, say what you will. This video is not meant to bully anybody or tear anybody down, but when I see an injustice happening, I can't, I'm, I'm like that person that I just can't help but say something. I can't, like, I understand that people don't like Amber, but what Charlie's doing is, that doesn't make you better. It doesn't. And I know people are gonna be like, oh, you're tearing down another woman. You're tearing down a woman of color. You shouldn't do that. Like, no, no, I'm not giving you a pass. Just because you're a woman, and specifically because you're a woman of color, does not mean you get a pass on doing bad or shady things, okay? And I, I don't even get mad at YouTubers for being shady because we all indulge in a little bit of shade, okay? We all do, like, we all do. I will forgive some shadiness, but profiting and building an entire platform off of negativity, off of somebody else's back, and you not even having decent YouTube skills or a reaction to actually put on camera, like, I'm not, I'm not passing you. I'm not passing you. I'm not passing you. I'm sorry, no, no. And if you thought you were going unnoticed, no, you're not. Like, y'all, get off of Amber Lynn Reed's coattails. Charlie Gold is like, she riding them coattails, y'all. She, she's riding the coattails. Charlie Gold is hanging on for her life on Amberlynn Reed coattails. And that's probably the only reason Amberlynn Reed hasn't said anything is because Charlie Gold is kind of like giving her money and giving her views. I know many of the Charlie Gold fans will be blinded by the clear mob mentality displayed in the comment section of her videos. But I encourage you all to just sit there and think for a moment. Would these video titles, these ridiculous insults, be tolerated towards anyone else other than Amberlynn Reed? You have allowed your disgust and hatred of Amberlynn Reed to corrupt you and turn you into an equally as horrible person as you perceive her to be. This goes beyond just a funny, shady comment. What I see is a large group of people being deceived into believing that their persecution of another is justified. And what distresses me most is that at the end of a Charlie Gold video, the only thing it seems to help is to bring out the worst in everyone. I'm out of here. Thank you guys for joining another session of the court council. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Do you think I'm just being overly harsh, which I really don't think that I am, but you guys know that you are free to disagree with me as long as you use your words. Those of you who want to just be mean, I mean, you can, because I don't mind, but don't get your feelings hurt if I drag you. Did you know about this situation? Are you a fan of either Charlie Gold or Amberlynn Reed? Is there things that have happened? that I don't know about, that makes you like really dislike Amberlynn Reed or not like Charlie Gold. Like, let me know your personal feelings on this. And of course, you guys know that I read all the comments and I will be down in the comment section with you. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up because we're all great here. And hit the subscribe button so that you can join the court, join the family. We have a ton of fun here every week. We would love to have you. If you ever wanna hit me up, have a personal conversation, or send me a suggestion, you can find me on Instagram, on Twitter, or you can use the email address that is also in the description box below. I love you, I miss you, I'll see you later, okay? Bye!